Hello everyone, this is Bohonker Slinger here, and welcome to my little thing I put together from Word. But yeah, I just finished off Banjo Kazooie, so you know what that means, new LP time! So yeah, I just figured I'll make this and we can see our game choices here. Now, next, or one of the game choices would be Final Fantasy VIII for PlayStation 1. Final Fantasy VIII is a role-playing video game released for the PlayStation in 1999. Um, the game's story focuses on a group of young mercenaries who are drawn into an international conflict and seek to protect the world from a sorceress manipulating the war for her own purpose. The primary character is Squall Lionheart, a 17-year-old reclusive loner and a student at the military academy, Balam Garden, who is trying to become a seed, a mercenary paid by the academy. Now, I have to say, this is a great game I played. Played it a while back, so it's, I say it's a great game. Here is, here is the cover photo for it. This is Squall right here, the guy with the brown hair. And the other two are main characters as well, and well, here more people. Alright, next game choice will be Final Fantasy IX for the PlayStation 1 also. It's also a role-playing game developed and published by Square, now it's called Square Enix, for the Sony PlayStation. It was really, originally released in the year 2000, a ninth, tunnel, ninth title in the Final Fantasy series. Last to dis debut on a PlayStation. It was released as a PS1 classic title on PlayStation Network. Um, the plot centers on a war between many nations, players following a young thief named Zidane, who joins with others to defeat Queen Brown of Alexandria, the one responsible from, for beginning the war. The plot shifts, however, when the characters realize that Brandon is working with an even more threatening person called Kuja. Or Kuja. Um, now, I played this one too before, and I have to say this is also another great game. Um, here's the main characters, it's, uh, Sedane. Uh, so many great characters in the game. I love voice acting in this game. Also in Final Fantasy VIII, a lot of emotional scenes, same as in this one. Funny scenes in this one as also. Alright, let's move on to the next one, shall we? Next one is Conker's Bad Fur Day for Nintendo 64. Now, just to warn you guys, if I would play this game, it would be blindly. Meaning, I never played it before, only saw videos on YouTube. Some, not even a lot. But let's, Conker's Bad Fur Day is an action platform video game developed by... Developed and published by Rarer. It was released for Nintendo 64 in 2001, and it was the last game published for the console. This game was in developed for four years. It was originally attended for a family audience, but was redesigned to market to much older demographic. Um, it features graphic violence, sexual themes, mature language, toilet humor, and several film parodies, a remake. Oh yeah, there's also a remake for the Xbox, if you guys ever played it. The game star stars Conker, the squirrel, who is attempting to return home to his girlfriend. The gameplay is composed of various challenges like solving puzzles or racing vehicles split across multiple levels. The game also includes a f multiplayer, which is several different types. Um, it's sold poorly due to limited advertising and released towards the end of the Nintendo 64 lifestyle. Nevertheless, it received very positive reviews from critics. Now, the reason why I chose cho uh, ch choose this... Uh, sorry, my, my, my throat's really dry. The reason I chose this for another one of them is because, well, first of all, like I said, it is one of the last... Nintendo 64 games published by Rareware. Also, it's, <laughs> it looks like a very funny game. I mean, come on, you have a drunk squirrel. You don't see that every any. You don't see that every day. Also, there's advisory. This game is not for anyone under age 17. Oh man, so if you would buy this, huh? All right. But yeah, and another thing, it, re it received positive reviews from critics. Usually. The games I've seen from critics, not, it's not really good ratings, just like movie ratings, they rate it pretty low, so for this game to get a good rating is also another great bonus. But yeah, alright guys, well these are your three choices, you got Conker's Bad Fur Day, Final Fantasy IX, and Final Fantasy VIII. Now this is just a little thing I put together to, you know, advertise and see what you guys would think. Now I know I held another video kind of like this, explaining the choices, but in the, in the latest video I had about five video games. I cut it down to three here. So guys, make your choices, and I will be this. Uh, I will put. I will keep this video up for about maybe a day or two. But uh, make your votes, and if it's 
If it's not, a, if it's a tie again, I guess I'll just pick out of the three of my favorite, or do like an intermediate amount of mode and be lucky. Cause I, these two games I really love. As I said, never played Conquered Bad Fur Day, but it looks interesting. Just want to keep that in mind for you guys. Alrighty then. So yeah, make your choices, guys. I'll see you later.